Good morning, students. Today we are going to learn first lesson. The name of lesson is crop production and management. In this lesson, we are going to discuss the different steps involved in crop production and its proper management. All living beings, from the smallest to biggest, need food to survive. Green plants can prepare their food a process called photosynthesis but humans and animals cannot to get their food they depend on plants directly or indirectly why do we require food we require food to get energy the energy from the food is utilized by the organism carrying out different functions such as respiration, digestion and excretion. From where do we get food? We get food from plants, animals and both. Since food is the basic requirement to all, how can we provide food to all? For this, food has to be produced on large scale. To provide food to all, its regular production, proper management and distribution is necessary. Next, agriculture. Do you know children how the nomadic people become farmer? Till 10,000 BCE, people were nomadic. They were hunter and gatherer. They used to move from one place to another in small groups in search of food and shelter. They ate raw fruits, vegetables, and he hunted animals to get his food. Gradually he discovered seeds can be sown to grow plants. This was the beginning of agriculture. As time passed, they settled himself on banks of river and grow crops. Therefore, growing of plants for getting Food and other useful products are called agriculture. Next, crops. When plants of same kind are cultivated at same place in a large scale is called crops. For example, wheat crops means grown plants in a field that are of wheat. There are different type of crops such as cereals, pulses, oil seeds, sugar cane, coffee, tea, etc. Crops can be classified into two on the basis of the season in which they grow. India is a vast country. Climatic conditions are differ from region to region. Therefore, a variety of crops produced in different region of India. 
In spite of that, crops can be classified into two groups. Therefore, crops can be classified into two. One, kairi crops, the plants which grow in rainy season. Is called. Carry crops. Time period June to September. Examples At the same time, rabi crops grown in winter seas. period examples so before we conclude let us recall what we studied today first agriculture growing of plants to get food and other useful products are called agriculture crops same kind of plants are cultivated at same place on large scale is called a crop and the two type of crops are carib crops and rabi crops that's all today Thank you. Have a good day.